Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. A uh, great big thank you to everyone that comes to watch my videos and a big special welcome to all the new people that's joined my, joined my channel. I really do appreciate that from everyone. I really do. Uh, and to the new people, welcome aboard. I, I class everybody on YouTube as my family. <laughs> and at present now I'm just doing some reviews uh, because of my health. I just I'm not sure if I've got coronavirus or not because <laughs> my daughter-in-law's got it. Uh, the scandalous thing about that is my daughter-in-law, uh, she she's uh, like she's a healthcare assistant, and she works in a a home, uh, a care home. Uh, she caught the coronavirus from there. They've had absolutely no PPE up until one week ago. And then when the government brought this test out, which is like, you know, four months too late, uh, she got tested and she was found to have coronavirus uh, by the test levels and all that, they reckon, and by their symptoms. She's had it for two weeks. And uh, anyway, she contacted the home and you will not believe what the care home said, the manager. She has to go in if she's not ill. If she's got no of the symptoms, that's stopping her it's all right she's got so sore throat or the snivels or the knees whatever doesn't matter she has to go in and she's got coronavirus <laughs> and they've only just got the ppe a week ago which i might add it's a private care home and the ppe was supplied by the government you know with it with their you know contributed by the british taxpayer for these private care homes and she's gone through working in there. All the staff have got it. Uh, the home, I can't say it because they keep, they're, they're keeping it all quiet. They don't want it on the news and out like that, especially the one where she's working. It's a big company. And uh, seven of their uh, residents have already died and one member of staff have coronavirus. And they only put the PPE out last week. They've had no gloves. They've only had them pay, them uh, throw away masks, what are supplied by the NHS. But there was only a couple of them provided. They didn't have many and they ran out of them. And she's ended up catching coronavirus. She's got four children. Now, my, my son, he's he has his own business. He's okay. And he's still running his business. He still goes in it. But she, uh, she works to help pay the bills too. And that's what they've done there's no money if she doesn't go into work although she's got coronavirus i thought the government banned it and barred it but apparently her managers told her that the government they're working on government guidelines the government guidelines said even though she's got coronavirus and it's not affecting her, her duty to do it's not affecting the way she does her work she has to work she has to go in or she gets nothing scandalous that's the uk that's this government for you so I've never seen it on the news as far as I was concerned. Them lying two-faced toe rags we've got in power at this very moment. They actually said that if you've got coronavirus, as far as I'm concerned, you, you, ha you have to isolate yourself even more for 14 days. And if, you know, you've got others in the house. My son also took the test and he, he, was, he didn't have it. But that was at that time. He's probably caught it off air and so to my grandchildren. Uh, the bad thing is because they were doing the proper isolation the same as us and the only thing done when they went from the car that to bring the grandkids i seen the grandkids there's a possibility it's on to me because i am getting symptoms now so as 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 a lot of people know my health is not the greatest so <laughs> at some point you might even be hearing me from my grave <laughs> anyway uh, that is disgraceful uh, make, with someone that's got a highly contagious serious disease like coronavirus looks like this government isn't taking it serious after all because the private company that she's working for uh, there's so many on the sick because they're too ill to get the work uh, they're complaining they're all phoning each other up and they're complaining because of the manager's attitude towards them so now my daughter-in-law she's at work now today she was there yesterday and she's had coronavirus for the past two weeks. 
she is still highly contagious yet she's working in a care home that only provided PPE last week because they got it given for free from the uh, taxpayer that's what is this country coming to when people's hard-earned cash is getting took out their wages and then paid into the treasury only for the treasury to give the elite that own all these homes free PPE because they don't want to spend their money on it and they don't care about lives they don't care about the people they're caring for and they don't pay, care about the their staff they've got anyway that's enough of that rant uh, I'm just like uh, going on anyway today I'm going to do a review on this thing here and it's an EMF tester uh, I, I've, I've got it because I, I need to sample uh, I, need, I, I need to sample some like magnets and stuff like that for the electromagnetic magnetic field and also the radiation given off by various things and as everybody knows these uh, the best uh, uh, magnets is like the dorium neodymium magnets that you get from the only place you can get from is China actually because it's only this certain soil in China where they get where it's actually made from but the most powerful magnets in the world well, these little tins here are what I bought. Oh, I've had these about two years now. So I'm going to, without further ado, I'm going to open this. The thing I've noticed about the camera I'm using. Oh, I've I done a video about my, uh, my, uh, I've done a video about my, oh, I'm, uh, I'm having a brain, a brain freeze there. <laughs> I'll put the batteries in it anyway. So what it is, I'll just put it there for you so you can see. This is a a smart uh, check. It. it can actually it does radiation, and it does uh, the magnetic field. So uh, I'll, I'll turn it on. And what it does, uh, I'll just turn the light on. Yeah. And what it does, it gives a reading. That's the uh, the magnetic field, and that can actually do. The radiation test on it uh, and it gives out warrants when it works so what I'm going to do this is a tin as you can see this is a tin where I'm keeping them magnets in and I just put it down on here oh, sorry I'll just uh, what I've got to do is change that over and it's it's got the air uh, sensor in the head of the thing and this tin there nothing's come through so what I've got to do is open this tent. I'll just open up one of them actually, but these are the neodymium magnets. I put these in. This is how you keep them from uh, getting damaged because they are very, they're delicate magnets. These. Now the magnets there, believe it or not, are very powerful. You know, you, you get them big, uh, the C ones. Well, this is more powerful than them actually. Uh, pulling these apart is, is very hard. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> did you see that go off there? Anyway, there's uh, what we're getting here. I'm getting a reading on these maggot magnets. I'm getting a reading of. Hang on. It's uh, it seems to be like 0.39. So I've got a reading of 0.39 on there. I didn't lock and hold it, uh, but as you can see now, the magnet is out. And it picks up straight away. 0.44 now. That's what. That's. I would. I would say it was at eight. There, look. It's, it's just bouncing all over there. I'll put it, make that closer. Look. And that's the power of the magnets. That is pretty powerful. That at uh, five nine four. That is uh, five nine point point one on five nine point four. If I take it down, I'll just take test the yes. Uh, the literal strength which is 16 but it went back down to 5 1 8, 18 so it's it bouncing up to 18 and between 18 and 10 i'd say and 14 so that's uh, a handy little tool uh, what this can also be used on i can't tell what I'll, my mobile phone this is the end here where it's facing there where the signal comes out my mobile phone and I'll just put it further up to my mobile, or closer to where's my mobile phone. I'm trying to keep it in the picture. Look, that's off my mobile phone. 
so uh, that's that's the fleet then off my mobile phone which uh, it picks up that's at the, the, at the, at the end there uh, one minute I'll just do a check uh, you won't be able to see it because it's hard to do it to film and it's given us a reading of 2.01 oh it's gone to 3.3 so I locked it on there and it, and it had 3.3 so it gives us a reading of 3.3 but handy little things if you want to check the radiation around your home from your different gadgets and all that lot from your mobile phones from your computers etc etc uh, it really does work so I only use the magnets to test it there but I'll just give it on this mobile phone to test it and as you can see it was given off readings of radiation coming from the signal that's at the end where the antenna is inside the mobile phone it gives them readings although you see the screen flashing red it isn't actually dangerous them readings are not not bad but not good for continuous use so if you stick sit there one of the good things about phones uh, especially smartphones you've got another button which says uh, speaker and you just tap that button that's how 99.9% .9 of the time I speak on that speaker to anyone that phones me I don't actually use the uh, I don't actually use the phone and stick it up to me here. It's too big anyway. It's like putting a TV on your face if I did because it's a 6.7 inch screen. So yes, uh, people, uh, I've, I've done my Andorra. I've done a video, a couple of videos ago, probably by the time you see this one because I do, uh, 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 they are scheduled. And you want to have a look at, well, you know, if anyone hasn't seen that one, have a look at it. That It is absolutely atrocious. The quality and everything and the reason for it is uh, it doesn't have auto focus on it you have to focus it yourself but the only trouble is you can only focus like four times close so in reality you cannot put the phone right that that, that uh, camera right down to something to film something up close unless you have a macro lens on so I've had to order a macro lens because I did find it funny. When I bought it, I only paid eighty five pounds for it. But the actual form, them them uh, cameras themselves, if you they, they normally come with the lenses and all that lot. Uh, and now I know why they come with the lenses. They don't have auto focus, so you have to do your focus on yourself. So if you want closer views for anything below say four feet, you need uh, to put a, a wide angle and a macro lens on if you want to go even closer. So I've had to order them and I will be using them shortly. So anyway, uh, that's for another video come out. So don't, uh, be, I know I'm going to get a lot. That was it. That, yeah, you know, that quality is absolute rubbish. Believe me, it's a brilliant camera. Uh, it, it films at a distance and all that lot and normal distance. But when it comes to like what I'm doing now on this camera, uh, it doesn't do that it's it's out of focus all the time and i cannot get it to focus so for for low, close up close up stuff it's no good anyway uh you know i like me rants occasionally i don't normally i like well i've been sticking them in with my videos lately it's just that i got cheesed off there because of the coronavirus thing how serious this is and the government's they're according to that that uh care home uh, the following government da uh, guidelines and anyone with coronavirus can still go in has to still go in and work so that's that is scandalous that is scandalous again with this government it's money isn't it it's all down to the money they don't care anyway I hope you like my uh, EMF and it's actually a electromagnetic magnetic field tester an emf tester but it picks up the radiation for the ut so if you've got a ut it'll pick up the ra radiation the mg's for the magnetic field and the ut's for the radiation on it so uh, a great tool to have especially if you want to know how much radiation is floating around your home but you can also go out in your environment i mean we only have uh, we have a nuclear power station roughly eight mile away from us so we're in the actual right up to the close zone so if that ever goes up we're going to have to scarp it aren't we anyway on that note uh i wish everybody and i really do mean this please everyone keep yourselves well 
Stay well away from this coronavirus. It is dangerous. And keep your kids safe as well if you've got children. You know, I, I don't. nobody deserves to get this disease. I call it a disease. I don't call it a virus. But it is a disease. And I'm just looking on the news there. It's like actually mutated again. It's mutated that many times. The government doesn't like to tell you that, you know. The amount of times it's mutated. Now, we do know it was in that Kawasaki disease. It's coming with coronavirus. But now there's another one. And they don't know what it is. The scientists still don't know what all of the everything about this virus. That shows, I'm telling you now, I think it is man-made. It's a man-made biological weapon and China's keeping it covered up. And I think America knows, but they don't say much more. Because their secret service don't want to pick on China. Why? Is it because they were part of it? Anyway, uh, like I say, keep safe everyone. Goodbye.